Mashallah, there were a lot of points that, that uh, we can take home now. Especially the bigger message is that we have to start working on our teachers. We will teachers on our teachers, we will improve them, then we will improve all the technology and all the advancements. We can, we can, we can, we can improve, right? Only we are as good as our teachers. It's as simple as that. Now, uh, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, after this beautiful session, the next one is maximizing the AI arsenal. Now, AI arsenal, how do English get out of English? What do you mean by arsenal? What do you mean by arsenal? The whole ammunition of the ammunition, the whole ammunition of the ammunition, the whole ammunition of the ammunition, the whole ammunition of the arsenal. So, what should the teachers be arsenal? Artificial intelligence can be used. So, we will talk about this topic, inshallah, about this topic. Uh, Mohsin Ali, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, is the first time he's speaking here from a, uh, MFRD platform. Uh, Mashallah, Mohsin is from Assam and uh, he is a student of IIT. He is doing PhD over there. So when I was talking to him about his PhD thesis, he said he is very much fascinated with school architecture. How to maximize the school spaces, better utilize them. Uske upar PhD kar rahe. So I Mohsin ko request kiya ki, why don't you talk about your passion and your project first and then get into the AI space because school architecture is actually very important to all of us. We have got buildings, some of us have got beautiful infrastructure but most of us have got Dabba buildings, <laughs> right? And, and then we try to make the most of those buildings. So what is it that we can do? How can they improve that? I would I request Mohsin to talk a little bit about that and then get into your topic now. Jazakallah Mohsin, all the best. Okay, yes, sir has uh, asked me to share a little bit about my research. Uh, before talking about AI, I'll just give a little gl glimpse of what I do. Uh, even though like schools existed for centuries, but till now we have not understood how building should be. I'll just give you one example and uh, everyone will agree, I hopefully. Uh, all schools are built in this manner. I'll, I'll just, I'm sure I'm uh, describing a plan because I have not prepared for this topic. I don't have an image. I'm just describing. Every school or most of the school have this kind of plan. They have building all around and a courtyard in the center, right? So how many schools are this, this condition? A courtyard in between and buildings all around the plot. How many schools are this way? Okay, mashallah. <laughs> So I have done a study in this. Is this building layout good or bad, appropriate or not appropriate for school, school building? What I found out is this is not a very good layout. Why? One, once you run the building all around your site, you have to also run corridors, right? To go to the classrooms. We have to run a corridor. Now, the corridor is catering to only one side of the classroom. I mean the corridor, the student walks, it's only, the classrooms are only at one side. This is called single loaded corridor, right? But what was seen is when a school building is singly loaded, the thermal environment means the temperature inside the classroom is way higher than when it is doubly loaded. Doubly loaded means one corridor, classroom in both the sides. So the temperature is way higher. higher. Why is this? This is because the temperature in the daytime is higher. Now we are sitting here, the temperature outdoor is higher. And at night time is the opposite. The temperature outdoor is lower. Right? So when we make a singly corridor building, the temperature gets uh, increases many fold compared to a doubly loaded uh, building. Okay. Anyway, maybe next time if they give me opportunity, I'll talk on this in very detail. But right now I have a lot to cover. I don't have much to speak, but to show what are AI tools and how they work. Fine. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, other times you can, someone can, uh, I mean, anyone can uh, get in contact and we can talk about this. Okay. Uh, just Allah's will. Today is 19th of 19th annual conference of Millat. And today the date is 19th and I have 19 slides to share. Achha, mashallah, mashallah. Sir has added more <laughs> noor to this. Mashallah. Fine. Now, I'll just give you an overview of AI tools. Like this is, like many of them have mentioned, this is just data of United States because other countries, they don't have data of AI uh, this one, startups. 
सो वॉट इट सेज इज की एज ऑफ मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस स्टार्टअप स्टार्टेड जस्ट इमेजिन दिस मेनी कंपनी स्टार्टेड ऑफ ए आई फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन and thousands of tool come up every month is it uh, or oh, daily daily every day thousands of ai tool comes up now being a novice in this area how will i even find out which is the best ai tool so what what i did is i searched for an expert in this area who can do this okay so we found a uh, we found a author Uh, she is an expert in this area ai tools for educational setups and she categorized all the ai tools available into a chart like for report making for lesson planning for marks for presentations for creativity they she has arranged this into categories giving five example of each category so my work became little less i will explain only this five uh, tools of each category and then i will give you example of only one because of the shortage of time this is the link i have provided in the uh, presentation you can go to the original source okay so the first topic is ai tools for lesson planning for lesson planning there are according to this author there are this five uh, good ai tools lesson plan dot ai technology dot ai query pod and copilot and desktop okay now i'll be showing only an example of query pod oh, sorry what happened uh sir something is missing there is the link is not coming oh okay okay it's in the next slide okay fine okay so the, when we open query pod this is the home page which opens i have given the link below so what you can do is open query pod this is how it will open the home page then you can just sign in na ho gaya aise uh sorry for the disturbance actually this apps are most of them are paid you can use them one two time and then only they'll okay fine no issue so these were the five tools available for lesson planning uh now if we come to marking and report making uh these are the five tools which are available real fast report progress report genuine and all others okay now i'll just try to show you the working of this uh so these are uh, five uh, tools for making ai lessons lesson plan sorry uh, sorry uh, yeah, lesson plan by ai tools okay so i have used one of the tool this called copilot but since these are paid they don't let us use it too many times but i'll just show you an example of uh, how what kind of lesson plan it makes when we make uh, lesson plan with these tools like i have just typed slamic architecture and it gave me this what what should be the aim what should be the objective possible materials needed and uh, model uh, practices guide uh, guided practices so this kind of uh, uh, lesson plan it creates uh, but but the one which was working later was query pod so i'll just give an example of query pod how it works yeah so if you go into query pod and you go into its home and you sign up and everything then i i i have typed just solar system like here i have just typed solar system and i have given fifth grade means i want a presentation of solar system of the fifth grade and if i just press generate ah uh, it took some time and it has given me a presentation of the solar system so i can just move how do you know what is the most interesting thing about 
the solar system what do you think about the solar system so it give me a rough presentation of a solar system so this is how ai works you just need to command and it will give you the result similarly now these are uh, tools for making reports like mark sheets and reports so one of the tool is this report genui if we uh, go into this i have given the link for each of them you can go into that so this is how it uh, comes the home page okay so what i have typed is for which class uh, the student is then my name and i have given here uh, yeah he this one now class work let's say this guy performs good homework okay participant excellent class test good work ethics maybe okay and then organization excellent then i can al also write here uh, but comes late in class now it will create a report for this i need not write the whole thing now see it is it has written mohsin is a student who shows great enthusiasm for learning and practicing activity in class decision his contribution to the class are always insightful and thought provoking so it's right it it writes the complete report of the student just by giving minimum information of the student fine i am rushing through because as i have said i have already made a acha now these are some chat bots five of them uh, the one which is most used is chat gpt if many of them have already said i have given the link you can just click on the link and get into the chat gpt so it's free of cost you can type anything here let's say i type uh, how sh should i teach fifth class solar system so it will answer me teaching a class about solar system of five grade can be you have seen so it's guiding you what you need to do like many of them have already mentioned this is a tool it's like a master to you or you can say in more more uh, better word it is a teacher to you it will teach you how to teach fifth grade student about solar system so like the details which we give for so about solar system to a 10th standard student and a fifth standard student is different now the teacher does not know what to give to the fifth standard student uh, the one which he he or she has prepared for the 10th standard student so you can write in uh, chat gpt and it will give you the content fine now for creativity uh, many of us are good at writing but very poor at drawing many of us are very good at drawing but very poor at writing so you can interchange now this there are five tools uh, under this uh, categorization creativity and the one example which i'll show you is uh, stable diffusion now what it does is now what you can type here is let's say i type camel and ocean now we rarely see camel in a ocean right so it's very difficult to bring up this uh, image so you just you can just write camel camel and ocean and you press generate okay no issue uh i have already generated this image i'll just show you of that this was the image generated by ai camel in a ocean so this is less amazing but carrot and rabbit does rabbit eat carrot no right so how will you come up with this image of carrot and rabbit i'll show you even more interesting lion and a mice Have you ever seen a mice sitting with a lion? No, right? But AI can do it. You just type rat and lion. It will create an image of rat and lion, which is impossible uh, to see in real life, right? 
So these are very interesting tool which you can use. This is for audio, uh, word to audio, like many of them have already shown. You just put a paragraph into this, uh, this uh, app or tool and it will give you the audio version of it in any language, in any tone, Fe ma uh, male, female, Korean, Russian, whatsoever. Okay, fine. This is another tool just to make interactive classroom. I'll share the presentation and it, the links are already there in the presentation. You can check out by yourself. The one I'll show you, the last one is this one. Uh, chat PDF. Now, this, those who are involved in research know that we have to go through research papers to understand the complete content. So, these are some interesting tools out of which one is Chat PDF. Now, what it does is, I have given the link. Now, this is for specially for researchers, those who are looking for very specific content. Now, generally what happens when we do research is, we go through a paper and then we try to understand what was the parameter used, in which building was the measurement taken and so forth. But here, what is interesting is you just put the PDF, put the research paper into this tool and then you write how many parameters were studied. The study analyzed three parameters. So I did not even go through the paper. It's directly saying me the study has anal uh, uh, studied three parameters, mean, monthly temperature, and so forth. Okay, now if I say, in which climate? The answer to your question, the study analyzed four different climates zone in India, hot and dry, hot and humid, temperate, cold and composite. So I am speaking to the research paper. I am directly asking what is there in that paper. So whatever I want specific, I just type and it will answer me back, right? This cannot be done by, it was previously could not be done by Google and any other app. Okay, fine. I think I am almost done. Okay, uh, I will skip this because there are so many uh, within this there are so many things uh, or maybe I can just give you a glimpse okay simplified now let's say it has many templates okay I have just typed one templates which says confirmation email now we want to write a confirmation email to someone this is for management specially now I just type his name and it will give confirmation email what should I write let's say Mosin was selected for our school. Generate. So this is a template, okay? So this is for generating email. Now it will, it should give me the answer in few minutes. Okay, it gave me the answer. It wrote, Dear Dash, we are pleased to inform you that the event, uh, event your attendant, your successful conclusion, well, it, it created an email for that confirmation to uh, the whom we are selecting. Fine. So, this was it from my side, but I have just concluded three things. I will show this in a more presentative way, I think. Okay, so I have just concluded three things of what I have understood and learned from studying these AI tools. Now, AI tools is an expert, okay? Like many things we are expert in and many things we are not expert at. Like, I may be good at drawing, but not good at writing. So I can take help. Someone may be good at writing, but not drawing. Again, he or she can take help. It's an expert. AI tools should, not be, should be used as a teacher, not a student. Don't give work to AI tools. Learn how AI tools, what kind of answer he gives, learn from that. Use it as a teacher, like we ask our teacher, Ki how should I paint, how should I write essay, how should I draw, similarly. In this era of AI, giving homework to children is useless. Instead, make them work in school. Like one of them have come up with this concept of flipping the classroom. Give them homework in the home, 
I mean, sorry, give them to learn in the home, come and do your homework in school. So this flipping of classroom is very important for the era of AI. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.